Greetings, family, and welcome to NJ Kelly Garden Family. I'm your host, NJ Kelly. Today, I want to share with you all Little NJ's first plane ride going cross country. And I want to share how the garden held up while we were gone. And I added a new addition to the garden. Let's go. Well, NJ Kelly squad, as you can see, little NJ had a blast. As parents, Lady NJ and I were shocked at how well little NJ did from boarding the plane to meeting new friends to sitting on the plane with a seatbelt on to enjoying the ride on the plane and even eating snacks and watching watching his favorite shows playing with his, his toys he had with him and color crank and coloring book and crayons it was a great ride and a great adventure traveling all the way to the east coast for the very first time on his very fir first plane ride can you believe it i couldn't believe it. i was in shock even me getting the chance to meet his family there it was an amazing trip and journey. Now, one of the things I do want to mention that's very important when you have a garden as such, let me tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Before we continue this video, I need you all to do me a favor. Can you please like, share, and comment, and also subscribe? Because once you are subscribed, you are family. Welcome to the family, guys. Now let's continue the video. NJ Kelly Squad, the most important thing to do in your garden is water your garden. Now, prior to us leaving for our trip, whether we were leaving out of the city, state, or country, it's very important that you monitor the weather forecast because if you don't, the garden will be in trouble. Now, if you have drip irrigation, you are blessed because you can set it on a timer and it will automatically water your garden. But if you don't, like us, we have to water by hand, unfortunately. We had to do a deep watering because we had high temps in the forecast, which uh, when we came back from our trip recently, our garden was in almost tip top shape, okay? Now, prior to us leaving, I actually monitored the weather forecast, and I actually have a watering schedule. I'm, I actually, on purpose, did not water the day that the garden usually gets watered. I waited until the day before we left for our trip, and I'm, I actually watered the whole entire garden deeply and did a deep, deep watering so that it will last for several days until we return. Now, as you're watching this, surprisingly, we are now in the month of June, but surprisingly, we recently just in the second week as we are recording this for you all, just got rain for the first time in the month of June. Now, to everyone who I spoke with that live in the region that we are in, and, it's, and even in the city we had, have never seen it rain in the month of June with a thunderstorm at that. Can you believe it? I was shocked. Now let me show you guys the new addition. Surprise, 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 guys. As you can see, it looks different in back of me. Well, that's because I removed the tree collars. We still have our tree collars, guys. Don't panic. We still have our tree collars. However, I just purchased a new addition, and this new addition is named Jubilee. It's a new blueberry bush in our family's garden. We had several blueberries, first of all, in our garden. We had about three. Out of the three,
three to die. And so what I wanted to do was get a new blueberry bush because if you don't know and you're new to growing blueberries, blueberries uh, needs a second partner in order to have a bountiful crop. Okay, yes, you can go with this one, but you're only going to get a little small handful of blueberries. So you need an additional blueberry bush, whether it's the same variety or different varieties. But look out the amazing blueberries we have here. Oh my gosh. And I'm seeing one is ready. And I'm going to eat that. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Looks good. I'm going to taste it. It's nice and sweet and a little tart, but juicy. Now, I, I, what I did here, for those who are wondering, basically, I removed the tree collards, placed them on the opposite side, and then added the misty blue that was next to our blackberry bush and fig tree. Placed it here, and what we're gonna do is continue to add strawberries in this bed. It's gonna be the blueberry, and strawberry bed permanently for good until we move from this property okay but one of the things I know I'm, that I'm gonna have to do is put a shade cloth over this during the summer because it gets extremely hot and full, a lot of full sun now let me talk about the damages that occurred while we were gone in the garden the only damage that took place was our the damage of our tree collars. These tree collars here and the tree collars, mostly in the whole entire garden, has holes in it because we were hit with cabbage worms or cabbage caterpillars. They become cabbage moths. They love greens. They love Nebraska, anything in the Nebraska family. And also you can get snails and slugs too that will come and chew on the leaves now this this tree collar here is the moret tree collar that's in front of you from this mother plant that is looking kind of hit because it has been moved as well but lo and behold all of this will come back in the fall winter months guys so i'm not concerned we will be harvesting a lot of collard greens um soon so just stay tuned for that but this area got hit i'm gonna show you the second one now so this section was also hit by the cabbage uh, caterpillar and uh, our other tree colored bed as well. Well, family, I want to say thank you for watching today. But before we go, I do want to mention that shade cloth is also very important. We had shade cloth in this area that was covered in our family's garden. So if your garden is, is exposed to the full sun, make sure you cover it before you leave so that it won't get hit when there is a lot of sun exposure. All right. That's, that's the last and final thing that is very important before you leave for a vacation or a family trip or a trip that you need to take if it's if we're dealing with business. I'm NJ Kelly. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, we'll see you in next, the next one. Peace. Greetings family and welcome to NJ Kelly Garden Family. I'm your host NJ Kelly. Today I want to share with you all little NJ's first plane ride going cross country and I want to share how the garden held up while we were gone and I added new addition to the garden. Let's go. Well family, I want to say thank you for watching today but before we go i do want to mention that shade cloth is also very important we had shade cloth in this area that was covered in our family's garden so if your garden is is exposed to full sun 
make sure you cover it before you leave so that it won't get hit when there is a lot of sun exposure all right that's that's the last and final thing that is very important before you leave for a vacation or a family trip or a trip that you need to take if it's if we're dealing with business i'm nj kelly thank you all for watching and until next time we'll see you next the next one peace